Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Andrea Rebizzo and I just would like to share with you uh, a couple of ideas I got about uh, hormesis. Hormesis and um, for me it's just the right amount of stress, I mean daily stress. Uh, from one side you could have uh, an excessive uh, stressful life, uh, too much pressure or you could live um, a little bit too relaxed. And either way, they're not gonna work for your immune system uh, in particular. Uh, okay, just think about it. How many people uh, you know uh, that suffer from chronic pain, fatigue, and autoimmune diseases and stuff like that? Uh, that uh, could be just for um, a bad regulation of your immune system. And just think about it. If you just are under stressful condition, and I mean really stressful, like uh, if you had a lion ready to eat you up, and that is, I mean, it's really stressful, okay? And in a situation like this, you'll be uh, under, uh, in uh, fight or flight response mode. So your, your main goal, uh, the main goal that your body has is to be more uh, performance oriented. Uh, so better fighting, uh, uh, running faster, something like that, just in order to survive. And this is the key word, survive. And in such a condition, your, auto, your immune system is uh, not required to work. It's just not helpful. Uh, if you die, uh, well, uh, um, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter if you have virus or bacteria. It could matter for the lion afterwards, but mm, not for you anymore, <laughs> actually. So, uh, on the other hand, if you have too much um, a sloppy life, you, you, like you, you were bored, uh, you, are, you were annoyed and you're lazy, your, uh, your immune system uh, wouldn't receive the downregulation or suppression that uh, is created by the stressful condition. Of course, uh, the stressful condition must be uh, concentrated for a short period of time. You, you cannot think about living in a, uh, with such a high stress level uh, all uh, during all day because uh, uh, of course the system uh, will crash but it could crash also eventually uh, for a bad regulation of your immune system when uh, chronic diseases and maybe uh, I'm just saying maybe uh, um, cancer is a chronic disease inflammation is a chronic disease so uh, just think about it and uh, the stressful condition uh, for a short period of time could produce the down regulation or or immune suppression or immune suppression response, but is also renowned for and famous for uh, the production of positive good hormones. So melatonin, adrenaline, noradrenaline, um, and serotonin for depression. So uh, it's not as bad. And in, just in between, there is a mild state of chronic stress that may be good. And it could be very well represented for keto diet lovers and low carbs diet lovers um, by intermittent fasting. So you, the transition is uh, from a, a faster state uh, where you are a little bit hungry and then you become a lot hungrier, uh, you have, uh, you really need some food, and then eventually uh, you're going to uh, to eat some food and uh, the cycle will start back again. And with all, uh, with all that being said, uh, this creates a cycling um, kind of uh, st st stress that is growing and then uh, it will get low on a lower level. I mean, it is just a cycle of stress. And it, it just could be positive because adrenaline is a positive for your vascular system, for your immune response. So that's it. 
uh, the ideal condition is just in between as usual I mean for a lot of things and that's it just keep it simple thanks for watching if you like the video please uh, uh, give me a thumb up subscribe share I'd really appreciate it it means a lot for me and see you soon I'll see you next time Dr. Andrea Beats bye